in this lecture we will see certain relations of refractive index. There is a medium 1 here interface and here we have medium number 2, medium 2. An incident ray strikes the surface and enters the other medium. So, here we have one normal and it bends this way. So, this is I, this is R. Now, there is a principle, mm, yeah, first refractive index, who is bending? Answer medium number 2 is bending. So, bending power of medium number 2, we will write it as mu 2. With respect to what? The rays are coming from medium number 1, so we will announce that it is with respect to medium number 1. This is how we write it mu 2 1 and this mu 2 1 is equal to sin i upon sin r. This is mu 2 1. Now, there is a rule known as reversibility. Reversibility of light. That means, if we have a source here, then the light is following this path and if we have a source here, source of light and we take this path, this, then the light will go here and after going here, it will neither go in this direction nor in this direction, it will go only in this direction. Why? When it was coming from this direction, it followed this path. So, now when it is come going in this direction, it will follow this path. This happens in light and this is known as reversibility. We can reverse the path and light will follow it. Suppose we do that and now I am changing the names. I will call it M and this is N. Then what is mu 2 1? Mu 2 1 you will say it is sin M incident and sin n. Okay, sin m upon sin n is mu for medium number 2 with respect to medium number 1. Now I ask you to reverse the light and you reverse the light like this. The light is going from here and turn in this direction. Now this has become the incident angle and this has become the angle of refraction. Now, how do I write this equation mu? Who's mu? Who is turning? Number 1 is turning or number 2 is turning? Answer, in number 1 it was travelling and it was number, sorry, it was travelling in medium number 2 and it is medium number 1 which has turned it. So, this will be refractive index of 1 because 1 has turned now. See this and it has started from here, so with respect to 2. Going from 2, turn by number 1 is equal to sin i, this sin i, what is this n? Sin n divided by r, this is refraction for this, so this will be sin n. Now, see these two relations sin m upon sin n, sin n upon sin m. So, applying 1 and 2 mathematically, what you can say that mu to 1 is equal to 1 upon mu 1 to, they are reversed to each other. So, this is one relation we get and always remember mu, mu of glass with reference to water is equal to 1 upon mu of water with reference to glass. So, if mu of glass with reference to water has certain value, then invert it and that will be the value of mu water into glass. So, this you must remember. Now, if I ask you mu of glass with reference to air, 
this is 3 upon 2. Then what is mu of air with respect to glass? This is reversed. So this is equal to 1 upon mu g a a g reversed g a and this is 1 upon mu glass a is 3 upon 2 3 upon 2 so this is equal to 2 upon 3 this is mu of air with respect to glass what does it mean who is bending now answer air is bending from where the ray is coming the ray is coming from glass so if a ray is coming from within the glass this then this refractive index is less than 1 if it is more than 1 then it will bend towards the normal if it is less than 1 then it will bend away from the normal so this will go like this see if it had come from this direction it would have bent towards normal if it is going from glass to air it will move away from the normal and whenever it moves away the refractive index is less than 1 this 2 upon 3 that means moving away and whenever refractive index more than 1 then it is moving towards normal so we can write that if mu is more than 1 then bends towards normal if mu less than 1 then bends away from normal so please remember this rule also so what I wanted to tell you is basically this that we can always invert the values the refractive index for this is inversion of refractive index of this mu glass water reverse it it will become mu water glass mu water glass reverse it it will become mu glass water this is one relation and now we go for another relation if a ray is passing through more than two mediums okay now we are seeing more than two mediums this is medium one medium two medium three there is an incident ray which strikes okay this will take again medium one and it's an example that this is air, this is glass, this is again air. Right. Now, one incident ray strikes at this place, and here we have a normal. This is angle I, this is angle R, and it bends towards normal because glass is denser than the air when it comes here at this point again this is from denser to rarer so it moves this way now this is air this is air so from air to air there should be no diffraction so these two rays are parallel to each other now this is i1 this is r1 this is all the angles which are inside the glass will be given the name r so if this is r1 this is r2 and this is i which is equal to this i these two are normal this is transversal so if this is r this is also r now this refraction is sin i upon sin r this is equal to mu of glass 
with respect to air. Here we see sin r upon sin i is mu of air with reference to glass. Now if you multiply the two, if you multiply the two then these two multiplication will become one and these two multiplication mu of glass into air multiplied by mu of air in glass is equal to this multiplied by this and that will be 1. Therefore, mu of glass air is equal to 1 of mu air glass. So, this is the same thing which we did with reversibility rules. So, please remember this is the formula we are going to use at many places that they can be reversed. Now, suppose the ray is passing through three mediums. If it is passing through three mediums, then we have again a wonderful formula and that is a very useful one. It is a glass slab. On the glass slab there is water and here is air. Air, water, glass. May be possible. So, from here, one incident ray, this medium number 2 bends it a little, medium number 3 bends it further and then again it comes to the same medium so this become parallel. These two are parallel to each other. This is what has happened. This is I1 R1. This is R1. equal and this is R2. This is R2 and this is I1 because this air and this air same medium. So this angle should be there should be no diversion, no deviation. So if this is I1, this is also I1. These two are perpendicular. So this R1 and this R1 alternate R equal and this R2 and R2 are equal but these two are not equal because there is refraction here and it has bent. Okay. Now here this is medium 1, medium 2, medium 3 and medium 1. Now I write according to uh, laws of Snell mu of medium number 2 with respect to medium number 1. This is equal to sin i1 upon sin r1. Mu of 3 with respect to 2 is equal to 3 with respect to 2 is sin r1 upon sin r2. Then mu of this is one bending, this is second bending and now this is third bending. In third bending who is bending? 1. So this will be mu done by 1 for the ray coming from 3. So this will be mu 1 3. This is equal to sin r2 divided by sin i1. Now multiply all the three mu 2 1 into mu 3 2 into mu 1 3 is equal to sin i1 upon sin r1 into sin r1 upon sin r2 into sin r2 upon sin i1. This is cancelled, this is cancelled, this is cancelled. So this is equal to 1. If the multiplication of these 3 is equal to 1 then we can write it this way mu 3 2 this is equal to 1 so mu 3 2 these 2 will go to denominator 
downward. So this will be 1 upon mu 2 1 into mu 1 3 and this is equal to now this 1 upon mu 1 3 is equal to what this is equal to mu 3 1 you know that 1 upon mu 1 3 is equal to mu 3 1 this exercise we have already done and this will be mu 2 1 this is mu 3 2 and this is the relation I wanted to find out here that mu of medium number 3 with respect to 2 is mu of 3 with respect to any medium 1 and mu of 2 with respect to the same medium 1. This is suppose this is air air. Now this is the refractive index of medium number 3 divided by refractive index of medium number 2. This will give refractive index of medium number 3 with respect to 2 where these are playing part. Answer mu 3 1 is here. Mu 2 1 is here. This mu 3 2 is here. Now this is a medium which is say water and this is glass. When a ray from water enters the glass, there is certain bending. How can we measure this bending? We cannot measure this bending, but we can always calculate it. How can we calculate? First, we will calculate with reference to air, what is the bending power of glass? Bending power of glass, mu of glass. With respect to air, we do not write. If we do not write, that means it is with respect to air divided by mu of water mu of water is equal to mu of glass with respect to water mu of glass with respect to water what does this mean this mean if the incident ray is coming from water and it is entering glass then there will be certain bending there will be certain refraction and that refractive index will be given by refractive index of glass divided by refractive index of water. So this is a very versatile and very important relation we are going to use because in practice we cannot find mu of glass with respect to water. We cannot enter the water and see these directions. We cannot enter the glass and see these directions. But water to air we can find in the lab. Glass to air we can find in the lab. And then when we divide the two we will see what is the refractive index at this point. So this is how we use it. So now you have got certain relations. What is the inward relations? And what is this mu glass water? Mu glass divided by mu water. Now, after seeing all these relations, now we are ready to do certain applications of it. The very first applications we are going to do is that whenever, yes, the first one is when we see depth of a surface under a transparent medium like water. We see bottom of a river through water. We see bottom of a pond through water and that appear to us as if the depth is less. Depth appear to be less, actual depth is more. So actual depth of material is more than what depth appear to our eyes. How it happens, why it happens that we will see in the next lecture. Thank you.